Cycling in Zambia can be described as business of the physically fit. And that is exactly how one would describe ambassador of the U.S. government to Zambia, Mark Storella, as he cycled 11 kilometers from Chinsali Airstrip to Kenneth Kaunda Secondary School. It is here that he met a few of the 432 students whose education is funded for by the U.S. aid. We're looking forward to visiting some of the projects that the United States supports here, especially in education and in health and in conservation. This year, the United States is spending about $10.5 million in Muchinga province to support a lot of normal people, including 432 students uh, whose fees we're paying, uh, but also working very hard uh, to support the fight against tuberculosis and the fight against HIV and AIDS. Ambassador Storella was quick to express his pleasure as he toured some of the U.S. aid-funded constructions at Luwa Primary School, where the first president of Zambia, Kenneth Kaunda, attended school up to Form 6. One of the ways that we are assisting is providing better toilets and better sanitation for the students. It makes a big difference because a lot of students come to school, if they don't have a good toilet, um, the sanitation is not good, they get sick, and then they miss school. Um, I'm very pleased to see that here the students keep the facilities very clean. That shows that they're very proud of them, uh, and it shows that the headmaster is doing a great job. Lua Clinic, another institution benefiting from USAID support, was visited. Before the ambassador toured historical sites such as the birthplace of Kenneth Kaunda, Lua Mission Church, and Lua Graveyard. And Permanent Secretary for Muchinga Province, Charles Sipanje, informed the ambassador that phase one of the planning of Chinsali Town is now complete. As you can see where we are here, this is where we intend to, uh, to build the Muchinga International Airport. The Ministry of Works are actually concluding the design of this airport. Ambassador Mark Storella's visit in Chinsali was concluded with a courtesy call on Mrs. Kapwepwe, the widow of the late freedom fighter Simon Mwansa Kapwepwe. Kachanana Simate, reporting from Chinsali.